What is a tibial spine avulsion and can, what can a young athlete do to overcome it? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of the book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. A tibial spine avulsion is probably not an injury that you hear that much about. In easy language, it's sort of a variation of an ACL injury. Almost always occurs in kids who are not done growing. What it is, and I don't know how well this model is going to show it, but if you look inside the knee, the ACL is running from the femur to the tibia. The tibial spine is where the ACL attaches to the shin bone. And instead of tearing the ACL in the middle of the ligament, you pull the ligament off the shin bone with that small piece of bone, the tibial spine. Now, again, this is almost always young kids, maybe up to age 12 or 13 or so. Some of those injuries don't need surgery. You can have a fracture of that bone, but it still is in the right place. And if you protect it and get it to heal, that may do okay. And you may not end up needing surgery. But sometimes you pull that piece of bone off and it's not in the right place, sometimes surgery is the right option. Now usually it's not going through a full ACL surgery, but it's doing something to, like through the scope to put that tibial spine and its ligament back down where it should be and hold it in place with anchors or stitches or something like that. It's still a big surgery in terms of recovery, it can be many months out of sports, but if you get that to heal, then potentially you don't have issues with the ACL down the road. So it's one that's worth seeing a sports medicine orthopedic surgeon, somebody that does sports medicine and a lot of arthroscopic surgeries, maybe works with a lot of kids because you want it to heal well so that you have full stability of the knee. All right, has your child suffered a tibial spine fracture or a tibial spine avulsion? How did your doctor diagnose it? And what was the treatment? How did your son or daughter overcome that injury? I'd love to hear your experience. And honestly, I think people watching from all around the world would as well. So in the comments below this video, describe what happened and the treatment and recovery process. I can't answer specific questions that you put in the comments, but I'd love to potentially read about your experience, and yes, maybe answer your question in an upcoming video. All right, in the description below this video, I included a link that if you click on it, it'll take you to a page where if you answer three or four questions, it takes less than a minute. It helps me understand your injury so that I can give you the number one next thing that you can do to understand and overcome your knee injury. So in the description, click that link at the very top of the description box. I think that can be very helpful. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injury, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. I record two or three of these videos every single week. They'll get delivered directly to you. So click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. Thank you so much for watching. If you're dealing with or your child's dealing with a tibial spine avulsion, I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.